Well, it has been a while since I've done an update video. I really don't like doing these much anymore, A, because not a lot of people are interested in them, and B, because they don't age well. Uh, they're not as relevant as an unsealed episode or a repeat episode or something that's main content on the channel. But I thought with Retro World Expo on the horizon, it is this coming weekend, September 28th and 29th at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford, Connecticut. I thought that I would talk a little bit about what's going to be going on there and just the state of the channel in general, since I haven't really addressed it. So first, Retro World Expo this year it is going to be awesome. Uh, this is the first year since the first year uh, that the show went on, that I am a paying attendee. I am not on staff officially this year. Um, after two years as the social media manager, I stepped aside. I was not able to devote the amount of time that the, sh that, uh, the executive team needed. I didn't think it was fair to kind of do it part-time and be worried about some other things that were going on behind the scenes. So they brought someone else in who has done an absolutely fantastic job and made me look completely unskilled over what I did the last couple of years. But I'm very grateful that this person stepped in and has done such a great job in promoting the show and getting it ready to roll. Uh, also, I want to send many thanks and a, a lot of appreciation to Chris and to Lance and to the entire executive team for making the show happen yet again this year. I know there's uh, some pressure going on, a lot of things uh, going on behind the scenes, uh, and they still managed to pull together what is another amazing slate of events and guests, and I'm hoping that you'll check it out. Again, it is September 28th and 29th, so it's this weekend from this taping because it's just about to be the 25th. So uh, this coming weekend at the Connecticut Convention Center, there are still passes available for Saturday, Sunday, or for both days. Uh, I will be making appearances both days, and you'll probably catch me on the floor. Uh, look for the rather short, fat, bald guy with a video game shirt, and you'll probably recognize me. If you see me on the show floor, make sure you say hi. Um... Now, in terms of the channel, uh, Unsealed continues to roll on. I just wrapped episode 112. I'll be wearing the same shirt. I just finished uh, taping another uh, Wii-related episode. I've really been getting into Wii titles of late because it's a system that I've really enjoyed playing since I picked one up a few years ago. Uh, so I'm hoping that you'll enjoy that. That's going to go up on the 25th. Uh, which is in just a little bit of time from where I am. But I'm going to put it up in the afternoon, probably like 3 o'clock or so in the afternoon Eastern time. So you'll be able to go ahead and check that out. It won't be a premiere. It'll just kind of pop up. So if you happen to be surfing around, surfing around near the channel at that point, you can certainly take a look at it then. It is a bit shorter than some of my episodes have gone, uh, primarily because I have had a lot of long episodes lately, and I thought having one that uh, having a couple that are less than 10 minutes are pretty good balance. You can check them out, and it doesn't take too long. So Unsealed continues. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is, as I look at the pile of games here off to my right, uh, it is starting to dwindle. And I've got to be honest, I don't know how many more episodes I'm going to be able to do. Uh, my fingers are crossed. I'm going to be able to find some sealed games relatively cheaply at Retro World Expo this weekend to try and shore up the dwindling pile here, but I don't know uh, how that's going to go. When I started doing this project two years ago, uh, I started to sink a... a rather significant amount of money into doing this. I do not regret it at all. Uh, I have never expected nor asked for any kind of donation because I just don't think that I deserve it. This is a show that I do completely for fun as a hobby uh, and because I like having these games to shore up my actual collection. A lot of these um, are replacing what were disc only or what were used games that were kind of scratched up or beat up. So now having new copies uh, is a bonus in addition to be able to make these episodes and hopefully uh, ones that you're enjoying watching. So they are still going to go on for the time being. Uh, I still have probably about 15 or so PlayStation games and maybe about seven PS2 games, and after that, it's pretty much over unless I find some more. So that should get me at least until the end of the year, uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. I'm certainly going to put uh, some sealed games on my Christmas list, and maybe Santa will be good to me this year. So that's what's going on with Unsealed. Uh, I did do an episode of Repeat uh, talking about the Sega Dreamcast. That went up on September 9th. Um, that 
episode actually got some really good traction in terms of views or relatively speaking, because I don't really get a lot of views on this channel. Uh, so to those of you who watched it, I really do appreciate it. It picked up some uh, some traction on Twitter as well. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, repeat episodes will continue um, as I find subject matter that really appeals to me. And I just, I feel that it's timely. Uh, so I will continue to do those. They are a lot of fun to do. Uh, so you can expect more of those to come. I still do have plans once Unsealed is done uh, to go ahead and do some short game reviews. Now I won't do any gameplay, uh, but I will be holding the game up and just talking about it. And I'm going to try and keep the reviews to between five to seven minutes or so. And maybe they won't be so much reviews as they will be. I'll pick a game and I'll talk about its influence on me, uh, what I thought of it and what was going on in my life at the time. I'm still thinking of uh, a series title for that. Uh, it's escaping me at the moment because it's almost midnight and I need to go to bed soon. But uh, that's something that's also on the horizon as well once Unsealed wraps up. Uh, the channel will continue to get updates as long as I am able and as long as I have the time. We are going into a less warm time of year, so I should be able to film uh, on a more regular basis. Uh, so that's what's going on in terms of original content. Now, some people have asked what's happening with streaming. Uh, I removed all of the streaming content from the channel, and the reason for that is because YouTube, among all the other crazy things that have been going on, uh, YouTube happens to penalize channels that uh, that show streaming content or do streaming uh, within its algorithm. And I talked to some colleagues about that, some friends of mine who told me about it. And when they did, I decided to go ahead and just yank all the streaming stuff all together. So the streaming for now is dead. Uh, some of you have asked about Twitch. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. I don't think, uh, to be all, to be completely honest, uh, the streams were not getting a ton of traffic. I was doing the same few games over and over again, and I'm sure they were starting to get old. Uh, and I don't really have a streaming schedule. And the other thing is there's just, there's a ton of competition out there and I wouldn't expect you guys, those of you who are tuning in to stop what you're doing to watch me stream and pulling some of that content, trying to convert it to archive and then put it on a channel here. I don't know what effect that that would have. I'm really happy with the subscriber base that I have. In fact, I'm blown away by the fact that I'm at 500 plus. <laughs> um, I certainly would, have, would not have expected that as this channel has gone through a lot of changes. Um, but I'm very happy with where we are. I am working to try and keep those of you that are here interested in what I'm doing. And I will keep the content coming as long as I can, whether there are 500 subscribers or five. Uh, this is just a lot of fun for me to do. So that's what's going on with the channel. Streaming, just not going to happen, at least for the time being. The other thing to let you know uh, is that uh, I have gotten back on Twitter after I took a sabbatical. I blew up my old account because it was just, it really didn't represent who I was anymore. Uh, that was more Pete, the gaming press professional guy. I had a lot of contacts on there and I've really pivoted. Uh, in terms of what I talk about, what I cover. Uh, and while I do still gripe a lot about the modern gaming scene, and yes, it does tick me off considerably, uh, I try and stay uh, at least pretty consistently on the retro side of things. Uh, and I do a lot of retweeting where if I see uh, something retro gaming related, uh, I'll add my own two cents and share it so that people can check it out. So uh, the Twitter account is back up. It is at, got to do the little at symbol, Pete Skerritt, P-E-T-E-S-K-E-R-R-I-T-T. -E -E you can go ahead and follow me there. I am fairly active there, and I'm also uh, kind of active on Facebook, and that is the last thing I'll leave you with before I end this video is that uh, – Unsealed videos are now going to be going up on the Facebook page too, the official Unsealed Facebook page as well. It just makes sense to have a secondary landing point for these videos uh, aside from YouTube just in case something happens with YouTube where they decide that they're just going to close down uh, videos like mine or not allow me to upload without paying or something ridiculous like that. So uh, I do have videos that I'll be putting up on Facebook starting uh, with the last episode of Unsealed number 111. And episode 112 will go up at some point tomorrow as well, likely when I get home from work. So it'll be up for the evening commute. That's what I'm hoping. 
So that is what's happening. Again, Retro World Expo is this weekend, the 28th and the 29th at the Connecticut Convention Center. I hope to see you there. Thanks, as always, for checking out the channel. Any of my work, I really do appreciate it. This, the, subs, uh, the subscriptions, the likes, the comments, they all mean the world to me. Until the next time, my friends, take care of yourselves and each other, and we will talk again real soon.